Welcome to my YouTube channel Scientific Underscore Math. In this lecture, we study fixed point iteration method for finding numerical solution of nonlinear equation. We have already studied some uh, uh, methods for finding numerical solution of nonlinear equation in previous lectures, uh, like bisection method, regular palsy method, Newton's Raphson method, and uh, secant method. Uh, so today uh, we study uh, fixed point iteration method. Uh, fixed point iteration is a method for finding uh, for solving an equation of the form f of x is equal to zero. The method is carried out by rewriting the equation in the form x is equal to g of x. When x is the solution of f of x is equal to zero, the left side and the right side are equal yes we know that if uh, x is the root of uh, this function when we substitute this x uh, in this function then this will equal to zero so we have uh, uh, here uh, some condition for fixed point iteration method and the fixed point iteration method converges if in the neighborhood of the point uh, fixed point the derivative of uh, g of x has an absolute value that is smaller than 1 also called Lipschitz continuous uh, so the absolute of uh, derivative of g of x is less than 1 uh, what we do we take the derivative of uh, this function g of x and then we substitute the value of uh, x and uh, uh, check whether the value of g of x at some x is less than 1 or not so this is the condition for uh, fixed point iteration method fixed point iteration fixed point iteration is a method for solving an equation of the form f of x is equal to 0 the method is carried out by rewriting the equation in the form of x is equal to g of x when x is the solution of f of x is equal to 0 the left side and the right side are equal yes we know that we have uh, discussed uh, early uh, when x is the uh, solution of any function and uh, when we substitute it into the function then it we could uh, then it is equal to uh, 0 yes uh, suppose if we have a function f of x uh, this one and uh, we plot this f of x fun our function y is equal to and g of x when we rewrite this equation f of x is equal to 0 in the form of like that uh, then uh, we have y is equal to g of x y is equal to g of x and we plot this function uh, 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 y is equal to g of x and uh, uh, we also plot uh, a straight line y is equal to uh, x this one and the point of intersection uh, the point this is the point of intersection where the y is equal to x and y is equal to g of x intersect and this will be equal to, uh, this will be our solution and so the point of intersection of two plots called the, the fixed point uh, uh, is the solution the numerical value uh, uh, solution is uh, determined by an iterative uh, process yes uh, we will calculate this solution by using a uh, fixed point iteration method x is equal to g of x uh, which is an iterative method it start by taking a value of x uh, near the fixed point as the first guess uh, for the solution and substitute substituting it in uh, g of x yes uh, we take uh, uh, initial guess hour uh, like uh, x naught uh, with uh, x naught is equal to uh, with some value okay uh, in the neighborhood of that uh, this solution where and uh, these uh, graphs intersect like we take x naught uh, this or x naught like in the neighborhood of this solution okay uh, so the uh, when uh, the value of g of x that we obtained when we substitute x naught uh, in g of x we uh, obtain uh, our uh, next estimated solution that will be second value and the value of g of x that is obtained is the new or second estimate for the solution uh, the second value is then substitute back yes we again substitute uh, this into our function g of x uh, which uh, 
then gives the third estimate for the uh, solution. The iterative formula is thus given by so we have a formula iterative formula uh, for uh, this uh, uh, iteration method and that is the uh, x of i plus 1 which is equal to g of x. The function g of x is called the iteration function. Uh, so uh, this is the procedure uh, for uh, fixed point iteration method. Uh, uh, what we do first, uh, first we rewrite our function in the form of x is equal to g of x. Then we plot the function and g of y is equal to g of x and a straight line y is equal to x. Uh, where it intersect uh, at point that will be our solution so this solution we find by using iterative formula this one and uh, first we take uh, our uh, initial point x naught as uh, initial guess uh, in the neighborhood of uh, uh, solution then we apply iterative formula and we calculate the uh, solution or uh, the root of the function that is given function f of x is equal to uh, 0 okay convergence of fixed point iteration and uh, the value of x that are obtained are successive iterations that progressively converge toward the solution two such cases are shown in this is our first case and this is second case this solution uh, process starts by choosing point x1 on the x-axis and drawing a vertical line that intersect the curve y is equal to g of x at point uh, in g uh, at g of x1 so uh, this is our initial solution x1 and uh, we substitute it uh, into our function y is equal to g of x and we get a point at uh, our function y is equal to g of x that is in g x1 so since uh, x2 is equal to g of x1 is a horizontal line that is drawn from point uh, x1 and uh, g of x1 toward the line uh, uh, y is equal to x so we draw a horizontal line like that and uh, again we draw a vertical line that intersects the x axis and this will be our new estimated solution the intersection point give the location of x2 from the vertical line that is drawn toward the a curve y is equal to g of x yes we draw this line toward the uh, um, our function uh, y is equal to g of x the intersection point is now become x2 and g of x2 this will become to x2 and g of x2 so and g of x2 is also the value of x3 yes g of x2 is uh, also the value of x3 we again are we draw a horizontal line that uh, toward the y is equal to g of x and again we draw a vertical line toward x axis uh, this will give the location of x is equal to g of x2 uh, which is our new estimated solution uh, and the intersection point give the location of x3 uh, yes as the process continues uh, the intersection points converge uh, toward the fixed point or the toward true solution yes uh, when we continue this process and we get uh, uh, our uh, new estimated solution after each iteration and we converge we will toward our uh, true solution that is uh, this one where the function both functions intersect the uh, uh, intersect at some point so this is the converging criteria of fixed point iteration how this function is a converge and uh, similarly the case 2 is here uh, we draw function y is equal to g of x and y is equal to x and uh, we uh, the, uh, these intersect at point this one this is our true solution we take uh, some uh, initial guess and uh, we draw, draw a vertical line toward the function y is equal to g of x and we get uh, some point x1 and g of x1 then we draw a horizontal line toward the y is equal to x and uh, again we draw a vertical line toward the x axis that gave us the location of new estimated solution and we continue this process until we get the our uh, true solution or uh, numerical solution uh, on which the function f of x is equal to 0 so 
this is a, a convergence criteria of uh, fixed point iteration method now we discuss uh, when the fixed point iteration method is a divergence divergence of uh, fixed point iteration it is possible however that the iterations will not converge toward the fixed point um, but rather diverge away and uh, uh, we have two cases uh, it is uh, our uh, first case and second case uh, the figure show that uh, even uh, though the starting point is close to the solution the, the subsequent points are moving further away from the uh, solution uh, this is the point of intersection where the, our function y is equal to x and y is equal to g of x uh, intersect and we take our uh, first solution in the neighborhood of uh, our solution that uh, uh, true solution but we see here uh, uh, after each iteration the solution is uh, diverges away from uh, the uh, true solution uh, here uh, similarly uh, uh, the function this is the true solution where the these both functions intersect and uh, this is our first uh, initial uh, guess or estimated solution and uh, we see after each iteration the function the iteration are uh, diverges away from and the true solution this is our fourth iteration and uh, and this is away from uh, 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 estimated solution uh, so uh, sometime the uh, form f of x is equal to zero does not uh, lend itself to driving uh, an iteration formula of the form x is equal to g of x in such cases uh, uh, one can always add and subtract x to f of x to obtain this one the equation can be rewritten uh, in the form that can be used in fixed point iteration method uh, we can write this function like uh, in the form uh, so here we have uh, uh, some uh, uh, difficulties of how we write our uh, given function f of x is equal to zero in the form of x is equal to g of x choosing the appropriate iteration function g of x for a given equation f of x is equal to zero the iteration function is not unique since it is possible to change the equation into the form and like that g x is equal to g of x in different ways this means that several iteration functions g of x can be written from uh, for the same equation uh, a g of x that should be written in the equation this is our iteration formula we know uh, for the iteration process uh, is one for which uh, the iterations converges toward the solution yes uh, there might be more than one form that can be used or it may be it uh, may be that none of the form are uh, forms are appropriate so that the fixed point iteration method cannot be used to solve the equation in these cases where there are multiple solutions one iteration function may yield one root yes while a different function yields other root actually it is possible to determine ahead of time if the iteration converges, converge or diverge for a, a specific uh, function. So here we have some difficulties uh, uh, to choose our appropriate function g of x. How we uh, choose our g of x? Uh, that function and this function will converge to uh, a true solution, and uh, when this function converges to a uh, true solution how we check this function is converging or diverging uh, uh, toward two solution so uh, this is the main uh, point here uh, we discuss it uh, uh, which function we because we know that we can write in this function f of x is equal to zero in a different ways in several ways okay uh, so how we uh, know uh, that uh, mm, uh, which function will uh, converge or diverge 
uh, so the uh, fixed uh, this is the condition for g of x when um, uh, when the function g of x y is equal to g of x converge or diverge the fixed point iteration method converges if uh, uh, in the neighborhood of the point fixed point and the derivative of g of x has an absolute value and that is some other than one also called the Lipschitz continuous function so uh, the function that we have uh, uh, select uh, x is equal to g of x uh, x is equal to g of x is a converge uh, when uh, the derivative of this function at uh, some point uh, is less than is less than is less than one then our function the va absolute value of uh, uh, absolute value of derivative of g of x uh, that is less than one uh, then uh, the uh, uh, then the function g of x is converges otherwise uh, diverges we will see this uh, uh, condition with the help of example when we solve this uh, example in the next lecture so uh, here we have a, a theorem for this function let g of x be such that g maps a b into itself and g maps into itself uh, b and g is a differentiable on a b and the derivative of absolute value of derivative of x is less than or equal to k k will be some value and we and calculate the derivative and substitute substitute x like a and b we get some value this value must be less than one for x in a b interval then g has a fixed point x in a b uh, interval a b the fixed point is a unique and the starting with any x not starting any x uh, not initial guess in a b and the interval a b the iteration uh, will converge to x so this is the condition this is the theorem for a fixed point iteration method uh, when the uh, when our uh, function uh, g of x converge or diverge this condition must be uh, fulfill our function then it will uh, uh, converge otherwise uh, it will diverge uh, so we uh, uh, discuss uh, we study all these conditions uh, all these uh, uh, conditions in uh, our next lecture with the help of example and we also write a MATLAB code for uh, uh, for fixed point iteration method uh, so thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe my channel scientific underscore math